Okay, well today we installed a new uh, uh, country line gate from uh, Tractor Supply. It's an eight footer. We had most of these braces and the fence had been here for a little while, maybe a, a year or so, or the fence has been here for two years, but uh, we put this uh, gate opening in last year and uh, in between two fields here so we could access the other side and graze and build some additional fence over there but uh, we put uh, just basically H braces on both sides and uh, pull posts tightening posts uh, you know they pull from both directions so we got our angle on our uh, pull post there uh, try to get that correct from videos I've seen on uh, 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 other websites like uh, uh, the red brand fencing uh, which makes really good quality fencing for uh, uh, farm applications uh, today we're doing a little brush cleaning. We're doing some brush burning up here on the hill, but uh, we got all of our tools out here so we can basically get this gate installed. And um, like I said, this is an eight-foot opening, and we went with an eight-foot gate, just big enough to get the tractor and a small pickup truck through, so we can put more electric fencing up on the other side. And uh, hopefully, we'll get all that, get all the rest of the hardware put on, and the lock and everything put on here in just a second. But we're doing some trimming over there. We got the brush blade on the, uh, I think it's an FS110 that he's using we got for trimming brush. And uh, I've also got a one of Steel's FS250Rs, which is a, which is a dang good uh, weed eater. And uh, we've got the Steel's HT101 pole saw, extendable saw, which is a really good saw. Good luck out of steel products and their service and the availability of parts and, and uh, hardware for, for tools. But that's what we're working on today. Like I said, putting the gate in, doing some burning, and uh, hopefully getting things kind of cleaned up here. And in this fall, we can build some more, start building some more fencing and putting some more fencing in. Okay, that's where we are today. The thing with these gates, I might mention on these gates here just a little bit, it's critical that you know you do the best you can. I know it's hard on an unlevel surface, which we're on here, is to get your gate as level as you can. And, you know, kind of a nice presence, even though this isn't a public area. It looks good from the, looks good from the driveway. And, and uh, you want to make sure that you take your time and get your hinges in the right way. And it really takes two people to do this, uh, to get it all leveled up and uh, in there right. And uh, we use most of the Country Line or Beelin makes gates as well. I think it may be the same company. I'm not sure, but uh, I always put an additional bolt in here, right here, to keep the gate from uh, twisting. And uh, you know, a lot of times if they bump up against something, they'll want to try to twist on you and eventually try to slide down through the years of opening and closing that kind of thing. And so that's what I do on that. And it always helps to kind of uh, snip those gates a little bit here. You can see we had to kind of snip. The gates. I don't know if you can see that, but we have to snip the gate uh, to get things to kind of line up right, which that's okay to do. Makes a nice, uh, makes for a nice presentation. But we're gonna go ahead and get things kind of cleaned up here. And uh, uh, thanks for watching. If uh, you like our videos, we're kind of new to YouTube. Uh, we're gonna try to have a video on a, a week. So uh, if you like our videos, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.